In this question, we've been asked to sketch each curve showing the coordinates of any points of intersection with the coordinate axes. The coordinate axes we're referring to are the x-axis and the y-axis. We're looking for anywhere where the sketch is going to cross over those two axes. The curve is going to intercept the x-axis at the roots of the equation. So we can set this equation equal to zero and we can solve to find where it's going to cross. So to find those roots, we can set this equation to zero and try to solve. First, I'm going to look to see if I can factorize. That's the easiest way to solve. I'm going to look for two numbers that multiply to give me two and add to give me negative three. And I can find two numbers, negative two, negative one. So that leads to solution to x equals two and x equals one. These are the two intercepts on the x-axis. The y-intercept we can see by inspection of the quadratic. Just by looking at the quadratic, we know that this constant term is the y-intercept. So now I have these three points on the x and the y-axis where we know the graph should go through. Our sketch of the curve should go through these points. So here's my axes, and let's just label x equals one, x equals two, y equals two. The placement of these points lets me know I'm going to have a positive quadratic. If I wasn't sure, I could always look back to the coefficient of x squared. The coefficient of x squared is positive, so that lets me know we would have the positive quadratic curve. For the second equation, we'll take a similar approach. We know that if we go ahead and set the equation equal to zero, we have the opportunity to find the x-intercepts or the roots. Can we factorize? Three and two will multiply to give us six and add to give us five. So that leads to our two solutions, x equals negative three, x equals negative two. And once again, by inspection, we know that the y-axis, the intercept on the y-axis is going to be six. Okay, let's get the appropriate segment of the coordinates grid. And we're gonna label negative two, negative three, and y equals six. Once again, these are showing that we should have the positive quadratic curve, but the coefficient of x squared itself lets us know for sure.